Good morning, FOA squad. I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Van Life East Coast. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. Today, guys, I'm going to be walking you through my morning routine, but the focus of today's video is actually going to be my storage unit. I'm going to show you guys why my storage unit is going to play such a critical role in my winter survival uh, while living in the car. So, my morning routine usually starts right here where I park, and the only thing I do basically is get up out of bed and hop in the front seat, put my shoes on, and then I head to my storage unit, which is just about two minutes down the road. Now, I hope that this dang or phone thing don't fall off me, because when I tried to make a video before and driving, and I whipped the corner and this whole little phone set up on this little tripod fell right on off of here. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. You know, I tried to whip the uh, corner, you know, to beat the cars that was coming the opposite direction and lo and behold. So now my storage unit is uh, $118. Uh oh, here comes the sun, here comes the sun. My storage unit is $118. Now, initially I thought that that was a lot of money and was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna pay that much, that's a lot. But then when I realized the benefit of this storage unit, I was like, okay, it's worth every penny of it. So I'm pretty happy about it. Now, what's unique about this storage unit is that you can drive your car into the facility and then park near the aisle that your unit is actually in, which I'm going to show you guys. And I thought that was so unique. Now, I'm not familiar with all types of storage units, but I've never seen one that you can actually drive your car into the building and then, you know, grab one of the little carts. Because the storage unit I had in Baltimore, you had to park outside, raise the gate, go grab a cart, go up an elevator, with the cart if you were on, uh, while well, they started on the um, <clears throat> second level. And it was just, you know, it, it was a hassle if you had a whole lot of stuff to take in and out. So this is so convenient. And my life right now is all about convenience. You know, everything is in the same proximity. I don't have to drive really, really far to get to any particular thing. Walmart probably is the furthest that I have to drive for about 10 or 15 minutes I would say uh, as well as my job is about 10 15 minutes other than that shoot everything is in like a two minute <coughs> excuse me two minute driving so and I love that too because you know yeah uh, you drive less with your car put less miles on your car you know you don't have to and it just makes this lifestyle a little better, you know, when you know that everything is nearby. See, we are here that quick. And this thing seems to be staying up on here, which is great. So I gotta put in my little access code. gate rises and then I come on through now I want to show you guys some things before I actually go into the uh, building I want you guys to pay attention to what's going on over here let's take a look over there see that now let me bring you guys back over this way they have a lot of travel trailers that people are renting a spot for look down there you see two big rvs now when i first saw that it's cold out here when i first saw that i thought wow i got an idea i'll tell y'all that idea in a minute or I might tell you guys another time. So we got another access. And then I'm gonna turn you guys around. This 
is what I love about this storage unit. You can drive right on in here. They have motion lights that hopefully will come on soon. Now I like to turn around Bring y'all back around to me. See, I know how y'all like looking at my face. It's like, let me stop. <laughs> I like to turn around and face the way that I came in. And the reason why I like doing that is because I like to, let me pay attention before I bump into the wall. You know, these little walls made of thin aluminum, that one notch and they, they been them, put a big dent in them. But anyway, uh, I like to lift my hatch up and start back there. And I used to lift it up where it's facing there and everybody who comes in can then see, you know, in the back of my car, but I do it this way now. All right guys, so <clears throat> we are here at the storage unit. I turned my light on so that you can halfway see me from here. All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna take you guys right quick and show you my storage unit and then come back to the car and talk about why this type of storage unit is so beneficial to me and going to help me to uh, make it through winter. So let's go take a quick quick run down here. My storage unit is down this way. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible because I don't want to make this video too much longer, but you know, I like to just show everything because this is how it goes, you know? All right, yesterday I came here to the storage unit yesterday morning and I organized everything. So you're going to see the neat version of this storage unit. Look at that, I was able to do it with one hand. All right, this is the neat version. I came in yesterday and I took everything out and I organized it. All right, that's it. You will never see another storage unit video. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the car. Cause I don't want this video to be like super long, but again, you know, see, this is how the aisle way, there's my car. And I love how they have these carts all over the place. So it's easy, accessible for you to grab a cart, take it down to your storage unit. <clears throat> I really like filming with my phone, but there's limitations to it than doing it with a GoPro. All right, so back to the car. Now this is gonna be the challenging part, keeping y'all in frame, keeping me in frame, I should say. Wow. Bear with me, bear with me. All right, that's gonna be the best this is gonna get. All right, so. The reason why I love this storage unit is because it's going to help me out so much in the winter time. Now I'm starting my morning routine. This is where my morning routine ends. Excuse me. I usually come here right after getting up from out of bed. And the first thing I do is I get out, I open up the hatch and I make my bed. This is going to be a talk through and I'm not actually going to do it because that would take forever. I make up my bed, uh, open up the hatch, and then the second thing I do after my bed is made up, I'm one of those persons that I need to make my bed up. Even though I live in a car, I still need to make my bed up every day. I feel better when I make my bed up. And then the second thing I do is I come up here in the passenger seat, uh, everything is in my glove compartment, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, wipe my face off, uh, if I have to shave my face or my head, I do that as well. And then the final thing that I do is I prepare my 
gym bag and put all my clothes in there that I need to, after I take a shower, my deodorant and all that kind of stuff. And normally I prepare my gym bag during my off uh, workout and shower day. I shower and work out every other day. I have been doing that since I moved into the car. I think I missed two days that I just went in and took a shower and didn't work out. But I have been, I've been getting my workout on though. So I'm very proud of myself of that. And after I go ahead and uh, prepare my gym bag, um, that's it. So I do those three things um, and then I'm out of here and my day begins. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy that little walkthrough, uh, my little morning routine. Now, <clears throat> okay, you know what? I hate when I skip. This is the day. This is the the uh, default of uh, the downfall of f filming on your phone is when you miss some information and you gotta go back. And <laughs> I didn't even really talk about <laughs> this storage unit. Okay, very very quickly. Uh, what I wanted to say because I would have been mad at myself if I would have ended this video and didn't even say what I initially wanted to say, and that is. When it gets to be really, really cold outside, this is where I'm going to be hanging out. Uh, you can access the gates from 6, p 6 a.m. to 10, a uh, 10 p.m. at night, and that's a long time. That's really, really good. And I can come in, come here, and be from out of the direct out of the uh, cold. Instead of like sitting in my car when I don't have anything to do outside in the cold or whatever, I can come here and chill until, I, you know, whenever. Uh, I see some little heating ducts up there, so I'm assuming that it's going to be a little bit of heat. Um, I don't imagine that it would be a whole lot, but a little bit of heat, you know, and it's much better to just come here and chill inside of my car. Um some of you might say, why not go into the storage unit and chill? I don't know. I don't feel comfortable just sitting in there. And it just feels weird to me. I'd rather just come here and chill in my car. Now, one of the things that I also love about this storage unit is that they have those outside rental spots. And when I first noticed how many travel trailers and RVs was on there, this little idea popped up in my head, you know, and I was like, hmm. What if I was to buy, hypothetically, hypothetically, what if I was to buy a travel trailer and rent one of those spots out there and basically keep my travel trailer on that spot out there and live off of, out, you know, right there? And that idea crossed my mind, too, until, until... I was here one day last week and just about to brush my teeth and everything. And this woman pulled up in a little small um, rental van and she was upset. And she came up to me. I was just about to brush my teeth too. And she came up to me. She said, how long have you been here? And I said, um, about 15 minutes. She said, no, I mean, how long have you been renting from this place? I said, uh, about a month and a half. And she, let me tell you, she went on a rant about how she started renting her unit in July. And they sent her a little card in the mail. She said, said that her rate was going up $50. Now she has a bigger unit than I do. And she's already paying 200 and something dollars. And she said with the increase, it will go up to just over $300. And she was like, I'm out of here. And she said, um, <clears throat> it don't make sense that, you know, I've only been here for three, three months and they raised, they raised my um, rate for $50 already. And this, that, and then she said, by law, they can raise your rate every three months. And I got to thinking like, what? That's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing for these storage units that they raise people uh, rates like that. That's ridiculous. So it do have me thinking, you know, what can I do next if that happens to me, which I have no doubt in my mind that it will happen to me. Um, what can I do? Because I have next to the smallest unit and I'm not going to pay on upward to two hundred dollars for this little storage unit that I have, so you know I might end up throwing all that shit away except my important important things. I also thought maybe I'll just go ahead and buy a a roof rack and a a little storage thing up top, and 
that should accommodate what I actually would like to keep in that storage unit. <sighs> Excuse me. So, you know, she, I'm glad she told me that because, you know, it, I can now think ahead of what to do, whether to look for another storage facility or just, you know, cause I'm not going to pay up close to $200 for this, this little unit that I have. I'm, I'm not going to do that. So my three months would be, I start, I got this in September, October, November, December. So maybe January, I might get that little car that she's referring to. I don't know, but I will have my plan B up in my mind and so that I can take action on it. But anyway, guys, I love, love, love this unit here. And I, you know, it just serves so many purposes. I can come here and cook. Not propane, though. No. I wouldn't use no propane in here. But I certainly can come in here and, and chill and use my rice cooker and or my little warmer bag up in here and fix something that way. But I definitely would not do propane up in here. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, as always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you FOA squad members. What's up? What's up? And I will see you guys soon.